hi, this is Jack Godfrey. This is uh, Saturday morning beginner Qigong. It's on, well, it's live on Zoom. And it's also uh, showing up on Facebook Live as well. And later on, hopefully before next weekend, I'll uh, take this video and I put it up on YouTube as well. So if you're looking to practice at times other than this, well, there's an opportunity you can do a weekly class or you can look at some of the detailed instructional videos on, on uh, the YouTube channel as well. So anyway, so this is the spring season. Green is the color that's associated with spring. And I'm, I try to wear a t-shirt to match the color for the season. So today we're, we're green. And uh, the color, well, the color is green. The element, we have five seasons. So we have uh, an element associated with each season. This one is wood. Now the previous season, winter, was water. And there's, there's sort of a, a synergy or a flow with the seasons and with the elements as well. So water nourishes wood. And so that's the, and helps wood to grow. And so the energy for this season as well is spru sprouting, sprouting, and you know, sort of bursting up and out and spreading all over. And uh, you know, in between the snowstorms here, we look out in our backyard and it's like, yes, there's green grass and it's under that snow. And right now the snow is gone, but who knows, we might have more coming in the near future. The other thing, just to finish the introduction about the season, is that the meridians that are associated with the season are the liver and the gallbladder. And the interesting thing is there's a time slot in the day that's associated with the high tide for these two meridians. And the idea is, believe it or not, it would be desirable to be in bed and asleep or at least resting when the liver meridian is at high tide, which is at 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. And the gallbladder meridian takes the time after that from 1 a.m. to 3 a.m. So the uh, liver is, uh, looks at, you know, building up the blood in our body, helping to improve the flow of chi throughout the body. But there's more and I'll ramble on about it during other classes, but for now, we're gonna go back there and we're gonna get going with our so standing, you wanna have the feet directly under the hips, you know, about double hand width between the feet. And so to begin with, we're going to pull down the heavens three times. So turning to your right, gather the chi from the earth, watch the right hand come up, stretch the fingers away from each other, turn to the opposite side, and then exhale, draw the chi down, in to the brass basin. So inhaling. Exhale. And one more. And now we're gonna focus on our breathing here for a few minutes because the breath is one of the important parts of our practice. We, it brings chi, it brings energy into the body. It exhales, it purges, it gets rid of trash, the, the garbage out of the body. And it also paces our practice. And we breathe in for a count of four, we breathe out for a count of four, we breathe in through the nose, we breathe out through the nose. And we want to breathe nice and deep and full. So we're filling the abdomen, filling the lungs on the inhale. And then we empty it out completely on the exhale. So breathe in through the nose, breathe out through the nose, breathe deep. And so with all those thoughts in mind, we're going to do our three-part breath. And you may end up with a cough at the end of this, like when you finish the inhale. And this is normal because we're busy filling the lungs and stretching them out. And they get a little quiver in them sometimes, which makes the cough. So here we go. Inhale. 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 Exhale. <coughs> 
So three part inhale. One part hold, exhale. And you watch the hands. We'll do three more like this. Once more like this, inhaling. Exhale. Now there's a movement in the Tao Yin series called Monkey Lifts the Cauldron, which has exactly the same breathing technique. I throw inhale, 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 pause, and then exhale completely. But we add different movements to it. So there's a monkey standing by a cauldron. The steam is rising up. And so we gather the steam into the body three times. And then we pause and then exhale. We bend over, lift the cauldron, and we toss it behind us. So I'm gonna do it from the side here. So here we go, inhaling. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And when you're arching the back, you're lifting the ribs. You want to make a nice long curve in the back as opposed to doing this sort of thing. So again. Last one. All right. And now we're going to do our standing posture for today, which is standing like a tree, sort of goes with the wood, goes with the green, you know, green leaves and trunk, roots, branches, all that sort of stuff. And so we start with our foundation. We start with our feet. Check them out. You want to have a double hand with between your feet. And it's good enough just to look. But if you really want to check it out, well, you put your and see if they fit or between the ball joint of the feet. And it's a more or less thing. So if it's a little wider, that's fine. If it's a little narrower, that's fine as well. But standing like a tree. Put weight in the toes. This is the small triangle. Shift the weight into the heels. This is the large triangle. You want to keep the feet flat to the earth as we drift forward and back. We're building awareness of where's the weight in our feet. This will help improve balance over time. So come to the center, equal weight between the heels and toes. Push the toes down into the earth. Push the heels down into the earth like a bird grabbing a branch. And now the knees ever so slightly bent. Grab the hips, thumbs to the back. Push down with the thumbs, draw the tailbone into the body. Pull up the pelvic floor, pull in the abdomen, lift the ribs, lift the chin. So we have a nice long back here, a bit of an arch to the back, the ribs are lifted. This is a very mild dragon's back. So now, Bring the hands up, so about the same height as the elbows. Take them out to the side. Bring the elbows towards each other, feeling a stretch at the top of the chest. And now bring the hands up. So the center of the palm about in line with your eyes, the wrist about in line with your toes. And the wrists are also around about the elbow, maybe a bit wider, maybe a bit closer. These are the branches of the tree. Our feet are the root and our torso is the trunk. Now inhale, 
we push forward into the small triangle against the breeze. Exhale, we drift back into the heels, let the breeze push us back. Inhale through the nose, count to four. Exhale through the nose. Inhaling. On the inhale, we drift forward. On the exhale, we drift back. Inhaling. And we'll do two more breaths like this. Inhale for a count of four. Keep the focus on the hands. Exhale for a count of four as we drift back into the heels. One more breath. Now let the arms come on down as we lower down. And now we're going to do some warm up movements here. And we start with shaking the nine gates. Our hands are wet. Shake the water off the hands. Get the wrists, the elbows, and the shoulders going up and down. We add in the hips, the knees, and the ankles. Keeping the hips facing front, we inhale. Exhale, we twist and look over the shoulder. Inhale at the front. Tap the heels if that works for you. Exhale as we turn and look over the shoulder. So one more cycle like this. Last side. And we're back to the front. Might have a bit of tingling going on in the hands, maybe a bit of color as well. And now we're looking at our swinging arm series. So for this guy, we let the arms come up. And this is dragon shakes whiskers. Turn the head. Look over the shoulder. Just let the arms swing and tap the shoulders. Shoulders, the hips. And now cleaning the dragon's whiskers, we come to the shoulder. And we come to the kidney, back of the hand to the kidney, palm to the shoulder, turn the head and look behind. We're looking to get a good twist in the spine. Two more like this. And now flinging sleeves. The wrist and the two shoulders in a straight line and you look back at the thumb. Two more like this. Last one. And we come on back to the front. And now after the swinging arm series, we move into a side body stretch here. So for this one, as we've been doing in the last several classes, we're doing the crescent moon. So you take this leg out to the side a bit, lift the toes, so the heels on the earth. This hand pushes the hips off to the side, and this hand brings the shoulder and the head towards the horizon. This upper hand, the fingers point down towards the toes. Inhale, the feet are parallel. 
Exhale, opposite hands, push. Fingers point to the toes. Inhaling. Exhale, looking to stretch from the elbow to the ankle. So the upper elbow down to the ankle. So inhale as we change arms, exhale as we reach to the horizon, inhaling, exhale. So one more like this. Last side. And we come on back to the front. And now we pull down the heavens and we're gonna move into the eight pieces of brocade. So inhale, gather the chi from the earth. Look to the right hand, pausing the breath, turn to the opposite side, look to the left hand, exhale through the nose. So we draw the chi down into the brass basin. Below the navel, this area here. So two more. Exhale. Last one. All right, so the eight pieces of brocade, turns out there's eight movements in them. And the first one is double hands hold up the heavens. So we start by interlacing the fingers and turning the palms away. Ideally, we, you, know, you should be able to straighten the arms out while this is going on. However, if there's an issue, you can just point the fingers towards each other. And if there's something going on with the shoulder, the wrist, the elbow, whatever, well, you again work with that limitation that the body brought today and respect it. We're not here to beat up the body. So with all those thoughts in mind, interlace the fingers. Inhale. Exhale, we push down to the earth. Inhale, come up to the heart. Exhale, we push out to the horizon. Inhale, we come up to the head. Exhale we push up to the heavens. And then inhale, exhale, we push off to the side. Inhaling, and then exhale, we push off to the other side. Inhale here, push up to the heavens. And now exhale, turn the head, look behind a nice twist, inhale. Exhale, we go to the opposite side. Look over the shoulder behind you. Inhale, we come back. And exhale, we let the hands come on down. And again, so inhale, we interlace the fingers. Exhale, push down to the earth, lengthening the arms. Inhale, we push to the horizon. Inhale. We push to the heavens. Inhale, we come down. Exhale, we push to the side. Keep the shoulders one above the other. Inhale here. Exhale, we push to the opposite side. Inhale, we're back to the center. Exhale, we push up and we twist. We look behind. Inhale, we're back to the front. Exhale, we twist and look behind the shoulder, opposite side. Inhale. Exhale, we look up to the heavens and let the hands come on down. Interlacing the fingers. Exhale. Inhale to the heart. Exhale to the horizon. Inhale to the head. Exhale 
to the heavens, lift the heels. Inhale, exhale to the east, to the horizon, sorry, to the west. <laughs> exhale, this is to the east. Inhale here, exhale, we push up and we come up, left one out, it's over here. All right, we'll start again, sorry about that. Inhale, exhale, we push up, turn and look over the shoulder. Inhale, exhale, turn, look over the other shoulder. Inhale, exhale, with the dragon's back, we look up. I'm going to let the arms come on down. So two more cycles like this, and we'll see if I can get it right this time. So inhale, exhale, push down to the earth. Inhale, come up to the heart. Exhale, push to the horizon. Inhale, to the top of the head. Exhale, lift the heels, push up to the heavens. Inhale. Exhale, sliding down the wall, we push to the west. Inhale, exhale, we push to the east. Inhale, we're back to the center. Exhale, we push and we turn and look behind, looking to the north. Inhale, exhale, looking to the north on the other side. Inhale. Exhale, we come up and we let the hands come on down. So once more like this. Inhale, exhale, we push to the earth. Inhale, exhale, we push to the horizon. Inhale, exhale, we push to the heavens. Inhale here, exhale to the right side to the west, inhale, to the left side, to the east, inhaling here, exhale, we push up and we turn and look behind, inhale, exhale, we turn and look behind on the other side, and then inhale with the dragon's back, lifting the ribs, we look up, the hands and last one of these. So inhaling, push down to the earth. Inhale, we come to the heart. Push to the horizon, we're pushing to the south. Inhale, exhale, we push up to the heavens. Inhale, we come down. Exhale, we stretch the side of the body as we push to the west. And exhale, we push to the east. And now inhale, we push up, we turn to the right, and we look to the north. Inhale here. Exhale, we turn to the left, look to the north on this side. Inhale. Exhale, we look up, and we let the hands come on down. So that was divide heaven and earth with many variations. If you're doing this on your own and you're looking for a particular stretch, you can focus on that one and leave out some of the others. All right, so the next one is King removes his helmet. So for this guy, you take this hand, my right hand, you bring the back of the hand to the kidney. You bring the other hand, the left hand, behind the head, reaching for the ear. And you take this upper elbow and you pull it back. So you're looking to bring the shoulder blades together. And you turn and you look to the look to the horizon, look to the west, look to the right, whichever way you want to think of it. And then we rotate the hands. Back of the hand to the kidney, palm to the ear, shoulder blades together. Turn, look to the horizon, look to the east, look to the left. So inhaling, exhale, inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose. 
So we'll do one more like this. Inhale. Exhale. And now we're going to add a difference to this, but we have this side to finish first. Exhale. So we rotate the hands, cover the kidney, reach for the ear, shoulder blades together, inhale here, exhale. We look to the earth, push the elbow to the heavens. Inhale, we come up as we rotate the arms. Exhale, we look to the earth on this side. Inhaling. Exhale. Elbow pushes to the heavens. Inhale as we stand tall, shoulders together, push the elbow up. Exhale, look to the earth on the side. Once more like this. Inhale. Exhale. Last side for this guy. Shoulders together, pull the elbow back. Inhale. Exhale, push the elbow up and we look down. Nice side body stretch. And we come on back. So next is looking up. So we did look to the horizon. We did a look down. Now we're going to do a look up. So cover the hand, cover the kidney. Sorry, this hand, cover the kidney. This hand, reach for the ear. Pull the elbow back, look to the horizon. Now inhaling here, exhale, drop the elbow, looking up. And we come back to the center, inhaling. Exhale. Inhaling. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Do one more cycle of these. Pull the elbow back, look to the horizon, inhaling here. Exhale, look to the heavens. Last side. Inhale. Exhale. And we come on back. And now we add the twist to this. So same hands. We're here like so. Shoulder blades together. Inhale. We're looking over the shoulder. Exhale. We turn and look behind. Inhale. Rotate the arms. Exhale. Twisting the spine. Looking behind. Inhale. Exhale. And we'll do one more cycle. Inhale. Exhale. Last, well, no, beginning here. Last side. And we're back to the front. So that was King removes his helmet. Next is divide heaven and earth. So for this guy, we're still in our narrow stance, you know, with the knees slightly bent and the feet, that double hand with the part. And we start here holding a ball. We turn the ball over. Push down, draw the fingertips up towards the shoulder and they're pointing forward. Take the other hand, bring it up over the head, draw the fingertips down towards the head and the fingers are pointing across the body and we're looking straight ahead. So we start here, inhale, exhale. Inhale, we hold the ball, exhale. One more cycle like this. Uh -huh. 
And now we add a side body stretch. So we push down, we push up, and we lengthen the side of the body. So shifting the weight into the leg that has the down hand, and we look up. Inhale, we're at the center. Exhale, we switch to the opposite side, stretching the side of the body. Inhale, we hold the ball. Exhale, push to the heavens, push to the earth. Look to the heavens. E exhale. <clears throat> Last cycle for this piece. Inhale, we hold the ball. Exhale, we turn it over. And we push up, we push down, look to the heavens. All right, and now we add a twist. Exhale, we push down, take the bottom hand behind the hips, turn the head, look behind. Inhale, we hold the ball. Exhale, we push down, we push up. And we look behind, nice twist in the spine. The hips stay facing front. Exhale. So one more like this. And now that was divide heaven and earth. Next is gather the sun and press the earth. And so for this one, the liver meridian is a bit of a focus in this one. The liver meridian ends here, you know, part way up the ribs, directly down from the, na from the navel, from the nipples down here, just below the ribs. This is the end of the liver meridian. This is gonna be important for part of this movement here. And the liver meridian starts at the outside of the big toe, it comes up the inside of the legs and ends here. And part of the movement that we're doing here is we're gonna be stimulating the liver meridian. Now the gallbladder meridian starts at the corner of the eye, zigzags on the side of the head for a little bit, then goes behind the shoulder blade, comes back to the front and goes down the side of the body down the side of the legs and finishes at the fourth toe on the outside edge. So there's five toes. This is the fourth one. Now, so gather the sun and press the earth. So it's inhale. We gather the chi from the heavens, bring the elbows to the ribs and then scrub from the elbow to the little, little finger. And we do this four times. So we're inhaling for a count of four and we're going one, two, three, four. And so here we go. So inhaling, exhale, cover the kidneys, lift the ribs, inhaling, and then exhale, come down the sides of the legs as we look to the horizon. Inhale, come up the liver meridian on the inside legs. And then exhale, we drop the chi in to the brass basin. So inhaling, gathering the chi. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, well, I can't count. And then exhale, down the sides legs. Inhale, come up the inside legs with a turtle back. And then exhale, we drop the chi in to the brass basin. So inhale, gathering the chi from the heavens. Exhale as we scrub four times. Cover the kidneys, inhaling. Exhale, down the side of the hips, the side of the legs. Inhale, coming up the inside of the legs with a turtle back, one vertebrae at a time. Exhale, we drop the chi in to the brass basin. So inhaling, one, two, three, four. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. 
and exhale. Inhaling, now exhale. Inhale. Exhale, with the dragon's back, we fold forward, nice long spine. And then inhale with the turtle back, a rounded spine, we come up. Exhale, so last one of these. All right. And so that was get the sun and press the earth. Next, we have pull bow, shoot arrow. So for this guy, we need the feet in a different stance here. So bring the feet together, turn them out about 45 degrees, and then turn the heels out 45 degrees, or, you know, whatever, the heels wider than the toes. Then you turn the feet out so they're straight ahead. And this you know, the feet should be wider than the shoulders here. This is known as horse riding stance. You may need to adjust a little wider, a little closer, but the goal is to slide down a wall. So keep shoulders over the hips, bring the knees forward and lower down. And we come back up and you lower as, as much as you're comfortable. And if that's here, well, that's great. And if it's all the way down, so your hips are below your knees, well, that's fine too, but I don't go there. And you only need to do, you know, the intent is to have this movement going on, whatever extent it may be. So pull bow, shoot arrow. Inhale, you bring the hands up. Exhale, we bring them down as we lower down. So elbow, wrist, shoulders, all the same height. Pull the belly button in, tuck the tailbone in. Now, turn to the side and extend this arm. This is holding the bow. And then open the chest. We pull the bowstring back, shoulder blades come together. Exhale, we release. Inhale, we rise up. Exhale, we lower down. Inhale, we turn, we push the bow out, pull the bowstring back. Exhale, we let the bowstring go. Inhale, exhale, we come on down. Inhale, we turn to the right. We push the bow out. We pull the bowstring back, shoulder blades come together. Exhale, we release. And exhale, we slide down the wall. Inhale, exhale. Exhale. Turn to the side, push the bow away, pull the bowstring back, shoulder blades come together. Exhale, we release. Open the chest, exhale. Exhale, inhale, we rise up. Exhale, we slide down, turn, push the bow away. Pull the bowstring back to the ear, shoulder blades together. Exhale. One last cycle. Last side. And that was pull bow, shoot arrow. Now the next one, cat gazes at the moon, we do with our feet still in horse riding stance here. And so cat gazes at the moon, we're working with dragon's back. So 
You lift the ribs, lift the chin, stretch the front of the body, have a big curve in the spine as we look up to the heavens when you're vertical. And when you're here, we're looking to the horizon. Now, turtle back, tuck the tailbone in, drop the ribs, bring the shoulders forward, drop the chin. We're stretching the back, nice round back, so the shape of a turtle shell. So inhale, stretch the front of the body, a dragon's back, and then a turtle back. So this is, it's embedded in what's coming up next here. So bring the hands above the knees with the fingers on the inside. So you had the elbows bent here. And we look to the horizon. So this is the dragon's back. Inhale. And then exhale, a turtle back. Tuck the tailbone in, drop the chin, lift the ribs to the heavens, look back to the legs. Inhale, lift the tailbone to the heavens, drop the ribs to the earth, look to the horizon. Exhale, tailbone to the earth, ribs to the heavens, look back through the legs, look to the earth. Now, now we begin. So inhale, we look to the, to the heavens. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, and look back through the legs to the earth. Inhale, now new stuff. Drop the shoulder, the left shoulder. Shift the weight, turn the head, look to the heavens above, keep the ribs away from the hips. Inhale, dragon's back, look to the horizon. Exhale, turtle back. Inhale, dragon's back. And then exhale, drop the shoulder, turn the head, look to the heavens above. Inhale, we're here. Dragon's back. Exhale, turtle back. Dragon's back again, inhale. And then exhale, drop the shoulder, turn the head, look to the heavens directly above, look to the light in the center of the ceiling. Inhale, dragon's back. Exhale, turtle back. Inhale, dragon's back. Drop the shoulder. Turn the head, look to the heavens. Inhale, dragon's back. Exhale, turtle back. Inhale, dragon's back. Drop the shoulder. Turn, look to the heavens as we exhale. Inhale. Last side, exhale, inhale, we come up, exhale, drop the shoulder, turn, look to the heavens above, inhale, we're back to the center, and exhale, we come on up, cat gazes at the moon. All right, next one is king rides his horse with fiery eyes. And we're still in horse riding stance here. So this hand, palm up, light palm. So we close the fingers, making a light fist. And we're here just below the ribs. This hand, palm down, a light fist as well. And about the height of the, in line with the sternum and about the height of the chin. We're looking to the horizon with a focused, a fierce gaze. And now, the hand that's at the ribs, it scrubs the end of the liver meridian again, like we talked about a while ago, from the wrist to the elbow, and then the fist comes up to the elbow, out to the hands, turn them over, back to the elbow, scrub the liver meridian. And of course, we're on a horse. Horse goes up and down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. And just having a look from the side. Inhale, exhale, exhale as we lower down our gaze fixed on the distance. Inhale, we rise up, exhale.
And we'll do two more cycles. Exhale, we slide down the wall. Inhale, we rise up. Exhale. One more cycle. Last side. And we come on up. And we bring the feet back together. There's one more movement in the eight pieces of brigade, and it's called King Shakes His Body. And we want to have the feet back under our hips, the knees soft. And so you want to lift up and crash on the heels. So, and you want to have the knees slightly bent. So the vibration of the crash carries up through the bones of the body. And you can feel the hair move, the, the, the eyeballs rattle, maybe the teeth clamp together. So it's best to keep the tongue out of the way of the teeth, actually keep the teeth together. So we pull the belly button in, tuck the tailbone in, bring some chi to the surface of the palms. We cover the kidneys. You want to feel the heat from the hands going into the kidneys. We lift the heels and drop three times. Yeah, we'll do two more repeats, two more cycles. Last one. All right. And that was the end of the eight pieces of brocade. So let's pull down the heavens. Exhale. Two more. All right, and so now we're going to look, we only got a, a couple minutes left in our time here, so we're going to look at the healing sound for this season. Recall we're in the spring season here. The, the meridians we're working on are the liver and the gallbladder, the color is green, and the emotion that we're looking to help manage here is anger. And the healing sound for the liver and to help manage anger is so think of it as S-H-I as you exhale. So it's inhale and out through the nose. No, the mouth. That's an interesting thing about the breath. Almost all of our breathing in Qigong is in through the nose and out through the nose. There's an occasional exception to that. Healing sounds are one, because we actually make a sound. And the, there's another one where a monkey leaps from a tree. Uh, we'll get into that one another day. So the healing sound is shh, but there's some movement as well. And so you take your livers over here, just to remove all confusion. The livers over here on your right side. You wanna take this hand and cover the liver. You want to take this hand and you want to look to that hand as you inhale. And then exhale. So we're stretching this side of the body. Inhale. And again. Shh. 
So the liver is here. The liver meridian, as we talked about before, starts on the outside of the big toe, away from the center of the body, and then comes up the inside of the legs, up either side of the body, and ends here, just below the ribs. And it turns out the liver organ itself is over here. So the, we have some imagery involved in this as well. So the hand is out here, we're looking at the palm, and as we inhale, we're drawing chi into the center of the palm, along the arm, across the chest, through the other arm, and in to the liver. And then on the exhale, we're bringing turbid chi out of the body, out of the liver, and back through the same route, and we have some green, grubby turbid chi being expelled off to the horizon. So we're bringing in fresh chi, green chi, and we're exhaling turbid chi. So with those thoughts in mind, we're here. Inhale, drawing in fresh chi. And we're watching the hand the whole time. Last one. And that's a brief look at the healing sound for the liver and for the emotion of anger. And so you breathe in fresh chi and we expel the turbid chi. We bring in calmness and we expel the anger with that turbid chi. And now we're down to our last few minutes. So we're going to be doing our five direction meditation to wrap up for today. We need to have the feet in a different place. So step out to the side. This is the stacking of the bone stance. You know you're in the right place when you have the knee bent, the leg straight, and the hip is over the ankle. This is known as a stack of bones. So the ribs, the hip, the knee, the ankle, all in one line, one above the other. And we have the same thing going on over here. Now the five directions, we start here. Inhaling, we advance. This is a dragon's back. Exhale, we retreat a bit of a turtle back. And then inhale, sorry, no, this is the correct way. Inhale, and then exhale. Inhale here, we look to the right. Exhale, we come down. And then inhale, we gather the chi. Here we come down the center. So here we go. Inhale, we advance. Exhale, we retreat. Inhale, we move to the left. Exhale, down to the hip. Inhale, we look to the right. Exhale, down to the hip. And then inhale, we stay in the center. And exhale for a count of eight instead of four. As always, breathe in through the nose, breathe out through the nose. So inhale, early summer. Exhale, winter. Inhale, spring. Exhale. Inhale, fall. Exhale. And inhale. Exhale, late summer. And we watch the hands the whole time. So inhale, the red phoenix. Exhale, the dark blue turtle. Inhale, the green dragon. Inhale, the silver gray tiger. And then inhale, the yellow golden center. One more cycle.
And that's it for today.